gentlemen, this is your tag team contest of 30 minutes duration, the best two of three falls, two submissions, two kills or two disqualifications to decide the winners. Introducing on my left, the Hornets. Dave Curtis of Rochdale and Marty Jones of Phaedra. The opponent, ladies and gentlemen, on my right, the Danger Men. Colin Johnson from Cheatham and Steve Haggerty of London. And once again, the unfortunate referee, Emile Poilve from Stockport. So, Colin Joyson and Steve Haggerty making up the team of Danger Men versus the New Boys, comparatively. They've both been seen on television as uh, solo wrestlers once before. Dane Curtis, we saw on August 71. Dane Curtis from Rochdale, 14-8. Marty Jones, we saw uh, in March of this year for his first time on television as a solo wrestler and he showed up tremendously well but tag I don't know he weighs 12 stone 4 and he's Failsworth Manchester but a great future both men both big amateur records but what they will do against the experienced Haggerty and Colin Joyce is anybody's guess the next 30 minutes will tell us two falls to decide it very easily identifiable, the trunks worn by the Hornets and the leotards, full leotards by the Danger Man. Second away, round one. So it's Marty, Marty Jones versus Steve Haggard. <laughs> taking it a wee bit too easy at the moment he, he won't be able to against this fast moving ex-amateur who has a tremendous amateur in behind him almost as good as John Casanova in the first part One, two, three. British champion finalist British championship finalist at the age of 10 and he was beaten by a 16-year-old then. <laughs> Lancashire and Northern champion several times. And Marty would not turn pro despite offers until he had won the British title. And he's now a British amateur middleweight champion. Northern, Lancashire and Bedfordshire title holder as well. So out goes Haggerty and comes Joynson with a hype. Joins Colin Johnson of Manchester versus Marty Jones. Johnson of Three. The Slum Boys. Fourteen nine. Wait. And only twelve stone four for Marty Jones to throw around. And the tag completed. So it's for the first time Dane Curtis of Rochdale at 14 stone 8. More the weight now for Joyce. Oh, neat idea, and he came off too. Lever and tag back and Joyson doesn't want to stay in at the moment so in comes Haggerty versus Marty Jones <laughs> the 
Yes, and Matty Jones went for that. Really, he shouldn't have with a bigger man. He asked to give up, but Marty Jones wasn't having any. One, two, three, four. Oh, yes. Worked out of trouble. There's the double wrist lock there. And the head scissors by Hagerty. So far, absolutely nothing in this part of town. Even Stephen Oliver. Just Marty Jones putting his weight on the height of his feet there. voice there, five minutes gone, and it's a 30 minute box. Two fours to the side, and a neat switch, a very neat tag. Perfectly legal, and, and Colin Johnson's done the same to Haggerty. So it winds up with, uh, ooh, on the chair, on the back of the chair, in his back, but it doesn't worry him too much. Johnson versus Dane Curtis, as Curtis goes out the other side. Still another bad landing for him. Comes Haggerty against Curtis. One, two, Deliver a few more three, forearms. One, two, three, four. Uh, this time that one had to. Oh, that was good. And joints him in fast, says Haggerty. Please. Both men switch again, and it's Marty Jones versus the heaviest man of all, Colin Johnson. The lightest versus the heaviest. This back break are not really operating too well, because Joyce is leaving the feet by themselves. Allowing Marty Jones to get out, please. Just leave it. Right, on, thought he was going to be at the end of the break there because his man had touched the ropes, but he was off the ropes. An attack. Dane Curtis versus Colin Johnson. First grapevine by Johnson holding the toe with no. no. the left hand. No. Gonna be in trouble from a leg spread no. in a minute though. No. Watch these ropes now, don't use the ropes. Warned by the referee for illegal use of the ropes, grabbing it there in his balance. No, no. He's looking for it again. Two, three, four. 
and it's Haggerty in very fast against Curtis. the same Two, move, but three, Joyce and Soy coming. Five, six, First, shoulder one, slam two, of the butt. Three, one in. four, five, what's your name? six, seven. Gosh. Oh, yes. One, two, three, four, Joyce and really five, using his weight now. Six, Gosh. one, two, three, two, he thinks it's about time that Five, came in and had a goal. Seven, to one, continue the two, heavy three, stuff. Three, four, keep this close, Johnson. Beautifully taken by Marty Jones. Holding press there, but no, couldn't hold it. Probably notice that Colin Johnson almost got the ring there to help his partner out. Ten minutes gone. Third of the way through and no falls. Johnson versus Jones. Choice and going. Ooh. Knee drop. One, two, three, four. Uh, oh. Five, and Colin Joyce just gets rid of uh, Dane three, Curtis from outside the ropes there. He can't get back at it. One, two, three, four. Be sure that Curtis over five, on the right there has noticed that six, and will do his own back eventually. Yeah, and a backbreaker yeah, over the shoulder yes, and may a submission yeah. from here. Yes, he's got the first submission. Over Marty Jones. that one fall in the 11th minute but there's still 19 to go and of course Marty Jones has to continue with Colin Joynson though Dane Curtis has probably had ideas of switching 